Hi, in the previous tutorial, uh, we saw that uh, there, there's been a big change of uh, paradigm in the uh, visualization uh, mode of mesh and how to handle different layers and different uh, visualization of the elements. Actually, we saw the first four tabs of this uh, sub-menu, this sub-part of the layer dialog, which are related to the visualization of the different elements uh, with all their options, but actually there are uh, there's a couple more uh, that uh, essentially there are things that uh, were already present uh, in the previous versions of MeshLab, uh, also with buttons on the main interface, but they have been moved here uh, in order to give the possibility to um, uh, use them uh, and, and apply them to different layers uh, at the same time. Uh, so the first one is this one is the possibility to uh, be able to visualize or non visualize selected areas. So it's very simply if I select a portion of the area of the 3D model, if I switch the selected face off, they are not visible anymore. Although I can see, for example, here in the interface that they are still selected. The same clearly happens for points. Now let me remove the selection and uh, we can have a look at the last tab of the visualization uh, part and uh, here uh, essentially there are some of the uh, mm, decorators that were already be before in the previous version under the rendering render menu uh, but they've moved here because essentially uh, now it's possible to uh, possibly switch them on and off for every single layer and they are, they are all uh, um, uh, ways to visualize uh, visualize things that are on the surface uh, from a topological point of view so it's nice to be able to switch the visualization on and off in an easy way so having a look at all of them the first one shows the boundary hedges so if there are holes on the 3D model or incomplete surfaces, the boundary edges will be visualized in green. Every time that you switch on one of these uh, visualization modes, you also have a feedback on screen that tells you also from the how many, for example, uh, boundary edges there are uh, on the on the 3D model. And the same for the second one. The second one shows the boundary faces. So the faces which insist on boundary hedges and you still and you already you have uh, the feedback about their number here the other visualizations are the visualization of non-manifold vertices so in this case we have one let's see if I'm able to visualize it here it is so this is a non-manifold vertex clearly and you see that there is one non-manifold vertex and two faces insisting on, on it the same for other visualization. For example, in this case with this 3D model, we don't have non-manifold hedges. And the last one is related to uh, uh, models with texture. So let's open one. Here it is. And if I switch on the last one, texture border, what I'm able to visualize on screen is the border uh, in the texture between uh, uh, different seams so it gives me a feedback about the parts where the texture is associated to different part uh, in the in the texture image and this gives me tells me for example how much the texture is fragmented and so on uh, again all these uh, uh, functionalities can be applied on the single layer so if they are applied as, as they are they will be applied on the current layer, the one in yellow, but also in this case you have the possibility to use apply to all visible layers and for example you can see boundary hedges, you can um, make them uh, um, active on all the layers and the last thing is that the visual feedback that you have on screen would be for each and every layer that um, on which they are uh, applied so you, I will have a feedback about the amount of boundaries in the garden one now 1M uh, model and on the first one. So this uh, additional visualization mode 
can be very useful to inspect uh, a 3D model and to also handle the selection, which is something that is uh, used in a number of contexts. Thank you.